Red and Black TV here me with George. Georgie? Georgie? I can hear you huffing and puffing there, brother. You seem like me huffing and puffing, but two all draw against MacArthur. Last minute goal by Barillo. Barillo to the to, to, to our uh, to the rescue. Once again. Um, cannot cross balls. We cannot cross like we cannot get like balls into from free kick positions, just go other side of where the you know, other side of the goal, you know. And then Yen Yenny just puts in a creme de la creme of a cross for Borello. All I needed was a glancing header and it went in and beautiful. But again, we go 1-0 up and... It, it, Cough the lead very, up pretty much to the end. It, they were very flat today. I just felt like they were very flat in, certain, like in a lot of areas today. There was no... Like, yeah, we went up forward to go and create chances. But it was just like, okay, like MacArthur were kind of letting us do it because they sat... You know, back at times and whatever. And then you know they go one all and two one, and you the think like, then after they and you, th you think to yourself, like what, like what the fuck's going on? And then towards the end, Yangi. I thought it was a mirror image of the Sydney derby, the first derby. It get you know he cuts across, cuts across, cuts across. He beats those players. Any, oh, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, Yangi should be professional enough to score those type of goals. Should he should he's if you're gonna play playing a leg and you know, do, do stuff like that? I, th I think he already had it in his head, he scored before he even took the shot. I don't know, but Yangi's got to figure out his priorities whether he's gonna be at this club or not. Because the way I'm seeing it, he, right he is relaxed, he's not going anywhere, settle down, he's not going nowhere. Well, if he continues to play like that, then I think a lot of fans are gonna start turning on him. Ah, look, look you know, jump on, brother, jump on, brother. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, we can't always rely on someone like Borello to, you know, to to get like to get us out of, you know, um, these spots. But I don't know, bro. It's, the next couple of games is going to be interesting for us. So four, four if, if, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't wake up, if we don't wake up now and guarantee us finals, then there's something wrong. Yeah, to go to go top four all season and to basically capitulate towards the end of the season should not be happening. It's a mental thing, I reckon. Yeah. Yes, but at the end of the day, these players need to either wake up to themselves now and realise that it's do or die now, or as far as I'm concerned, don't don't be here next year. It's the way I see it. Tough, because we've done tough. we've done. Well, think about it, right? We've done so well consistently throughout the whole year, right? Yes, we lost a few games here and there, we've drawn, whatever. But when we've won games, we've won well. We beat these guys twice at home, 4-0. Why couldn't we do the same here? I don't get it. But I will give credit to credit to someone that came off the bench, Milanovic. I've been giving him a bit, bit of stick lately in terms of what does he provide. To me, he actually provided better than Milos Nikovic. Hmm. And that's saying something. And yeah. I'm going to question him. Has he still got his FC FC goggles on, or is he still playing with us? <laughs> I'm going to question it. I don't care. Surely not. I know, but you know, he talks about, you know, that the club, that our club's giving him respect, giving him, you know, the time or whatever. He, but he, re, he, he, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Then Yen, Yenny as well. Yenny's, I oh, know. It's, hot and cold. He's very hot and cold. Uh, he, He's more cold than hot. Shailen was good, like, don't get me wrong, his quality, but Yenny and, I don't know, Yenny and... It's just ridiculous sometimes. You go, you think to yourself, you go... Tough, it's a tough pill to swallow, pretty much, tonight. Oh, anyway. What can you do? We'll move on. Melbourne victory next game. Should it is win. what it is. Should win. Should win, but... Should win, question mark, wanderers. question mark. And Malta, stop being negative. Yeah, no, Malta. Stop being negative with Georgia. I want, I want to give a quick shout-out to my mum, who's in the hospital. She always, well watches, she always watches my... Post game interviews, she always questions what I say and you know, stop the swearing and all yeah, that. Yeah. But and then the no swearing, no much swearing. And apparently this jacket I actually bought this brand new, but Boz was wearing it in a podcast a while back, probably about a year ago. So was he now? Yes. They reckon you know that this MacArthur MacArthur jumper. Yeah, I was looking at I was looking at you from down on the top here. I said, what's he got that gold on there? What's he doing? Oh, what's he trying to pull? 
Nah, but anyway, um, yeah. we move on. Move on. No next victory. Week. That's it. And um, I won't be there. Um, the boys will be there. Hopefully, Stoss Smolter can jump in. No way. No way. Here we go. No way. <coughs> oh, you're a church man. He, exactly. he won't be there either. Happy Easter to everyone. Happy Easter to happy everyone. Easter, happy Easter to all of our Orthodox brothers for the following week. Yes. And uh, love your parents. Love everyone. That's it. We're out. Hey.